falling demand put the brakes on gasoline and diesel margins last week, but just how slow can they go? I'm Thomas Warner with this week's European Products Wrap. Gasoline and diesel margins have both fallen back to two-month lows, but unlike with previous dips, it's hard to see where the next uptick in demand might come from. Previous low points for road fuel margins during the COVID era have been followed by either easing lockdown measures, storms in the US Gulf Coast disrupting refining, or in gasoline's case, the need to blend winter-grade cargoes. But with restrictions tightening in Europe, storm season drawing to a close, and the winter transition complete, it looks like a very long winter ahead for the European road fuel markets. NAFTA remains more robust than other refined products, supported by firm demand from a healthy petrochemical sector. NAFTA was trading at around a $1 per barrel premium to North Sea dated crude last week, far above the $4.50 per barrel discount recorded a year earlier. But even NAFTA margins ticked down slightly last week as a result of poor demand from gasoline blenders. The latest Euroil stock data showed that the recovery in European refinery runs ground to a halt in September at around 71% of total capacity. We'll have to wait until November for a fresh headline figure, but any significant rise above 71% looks unlikely, with several large refineries entering turnarounds in recent weeks. But at least one trading firm has shown itself willing to place a bet on the future of European refining. Trafigura has acquired a 3% share in Italian refiner Saras, which owns the 300,000 barrel a day Saroc refinery in Sardinia. The refinery is currently running at marginal processing rates because of low margins, but Trafigura appears to think its good strategic location in the western Mediterranean may pay dividends in the long run. That's it for this week's wrap, but tune in again next week to make sure that you're up to date with all the latest news from Argus European Products.